What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Uh, I've been asked that question a lot. If you are looking to buy a computer, what's the specs uh, that you need to look for that works perfectly with VIP Shop Management? And even in general, I mean, uh, this question has been asked uh, probably from the 80s, what's the best computer? And the technology always changing, so you gotta know uh, what to buy especially when you're not looking to spend so much money so i want to talk about i'm going to give you an example in this video how to look for a computer that works with vip shop management perfectly and it's for business that's more most importantly for business and it's reliable um uh, there's a lot of people know this question they don't need to watch this video but there's probably more people that don't know what to buy and don't know what to look for I'm going to use Best Buy as an example um, uh, so you can look so I can show you what you look for all right so let's talk first thing first if you are buying a computer uh, for a business you need to buy a, a desktop not a laptop I don't understand I see it all the time where people yes you know uh, I don't have to worry about stuff and uh, and it's small and opens up. No, uh, you need a desktop. Why do you need a desktop? There's three different different type of computers right now. There's a desktop, there's a laptop, and there's all-in-one uh, computer. All-in-one computer. Let me show what I'm talking about. All-in-one computer. Disaster. Stay away from this, especially for business. Uh, this computer is slow. This computer is like a, it's a it's slower than the laptop literally itself. They're expensive usually. I mean, I, I bought mine for a thousand dollars, thirteen hundred dollars. For business, you need a desktop. The reason why you need a desktop because if this computer burned out, it's a disaster. Where where the desktop, it's you can take it apart and replace it if the, if the power supply died you can replace it if anything dies you can replace it uh, and this one this is it uh, you, you gotta you basically like all in one desktop is like a tv when it burns uh, take it to the dumpster it's over uh, even the repair people don't want to deal with it so stay away from this disaster i know they're trying to copy mac or they have all in one no for business you need a desktop not a laptop laptop only you need a laptop unless you are on the go uh, desktop we're going to stick with desktop so we're going to desktop basically it's a tower that's what we're looking for a tower so when you are buying a desktop it's very tricky why because the way they they play the game uh, in selling these desktop is they try to give you something but take something give you something and take something and if you want to combine all of them it's going to be really expensive over at fifteen hundred dollars in our industry in vip shop management or in our repair industry uh, graphic card is not important because you you're not going to be playing games i'm hoping so graphic card is not important. The, important the first important thing that you need to look into is the processor model there's two types there's AMD and there's Intel Intel is more reliable AMD is faster um, AMD has been proven to fail in my experience I mean I'm sure somebody would argue that but I've seen it it fails it be fast 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 and all of a sudden it goes down to can't even open windows um, I don't know they just did some changes recently with the Ryzen 5 and, and 9 but to be on the safe side stick with Intel and when we talk about Intel uh, you need to scratch i3 you got a minimum start with i5 so I'm, I'm talking about the minimum requirement i9 probably obviously is the best i7 is is very good but i i9 uh, i5 is our minimum so we need i5 uh, if you want to spend the minimum amount you need i5 the second thing you need for video card we don't care that's like i said we're not uh, trying to buy a computer to run games so you can skip this whole section because this one gets really really expensive especially nowadays good news we don't care about that and that's why we keep 
uh, are priced less than a thousand dollar okay let's talk about rams rams minimum we're talking about eight gigabytes eight gigabytes this is our minimum now operating system obviously is windows 10 um storage there is two type of storage recently not recently but well for the past five years now there's a new storage uh, the hard disk we're talking about it's called ssd it's not a hard disk anymore it's right here so you gotta make sure the storage is ssd if it's not ssd it's worthless because that's back in the days uh, the ssd makes the the windows 10 times faster uh, data transmits super fast now the ssd it's not a mechanical uh, hard drive anymore it's it's a chip so you gotta make sure ssd let's go back intel i5 we're talking about minimum here if you want the best then get intel i7 or i9 even better uh, minimum rams is eight gigabyte i am not really giving this uh this re this specs for uh, for per se uh vi to run vip shop management this is uh, this this minimum specs to run windows uh efficiently uh, because windows keep getting bigger and and they keep keep updating so if you don't have the the correct the minimum rams you're gonna struggle if you don't have uh, the the minimum uh, processor it's gonna struggle to run on its own now to add a add a, on top of the application now we, it's a problem it's gonna crash at some point so yeah so video cards we don't care minimum intel i5 if you can't get I, intel i7 go for it um obviously there's generations here um the sixth generation skip though you want the newer i5 you don't want an old i5 uh you need the, the latest i5 so make sure of that um keep going right here we said rams minimum uh, eight gigabyte make sure it's an ssd and make sure it's an SSD. Now we're gonna talk about storage capacity, 500 and up. Do not fall into the trap of getting anything less than 500, because uh, which is I did one time. The new Windows can take up to 200 gigabytes right now, just on its own. Well, we have 50 gigabytes to play with. That's not gonna do it. Minimum for business, 500 and up. You need one terabyte. But 500 is good because if you're using it just for VIP shop management, then you're all set with 500 and you still have another 500. Um, I mean, you, uh, Windows will take 200 and you still have 300 to play with, which is a lot. It's not made for images anyway. Um, uh, HDMI, wireless, all this doesn't really matter. So let's, let's, uh, let's do a small recap. Uh, processor Intel stick with Intel unless you want to take a chance on the new raisin AMD AMD raisin they're expensive now they used to be way cheaper not anymore they're expensive you can take a chance are they gonna be reliable to continue to provide the same speed uh, two years three years four years from now I don't know um, uh, they've been have for the past years amd been having issues according to them they fixed it i don't know it's a chance so yes if you want to take a chance you can on the amd raisin uh, 5 because it's a lot faster than intel and uh so yeah so intel i5 to be on the safe side intel and i5 just make sure stick with the for the late with the latest generation uh, we don't care about video cards because we're not doing anything um, eight gigabyte minimum on rams um, Windows operating system, the storage must be SSD. I don't care. Don't don't fall into another trap where they give you two hard drives, which is that happened to me. Two hard drive, one SSD with 256, and the other one it's HDD, which is the old style with the one terabyte. The the other one is worthless because all apps in Windows must be installed on the main hard drive and if the main hard drive is too small then you're really in trouble make sure you have one you can have multiple but you make sure the primary hard drive is ssd and it's minimum 500 gigabyte i mean let's look at our options look at our options basically are gone we they have one computer now um it's i5 8 gigabyte memory and it's 749 dollars and it has two star for some reason, but it's only one person. So you really cannot go. Don't ever go with a review with one person 
that reviewed it and gave it two star or one star. We don't know what's going on with this person. You need like something like that, 3,050 minimum. But yes, so uh, let's switch it up a little bit. Let's see what, I mean, obviously, I don't know if computers are, uh, there's not too many computers. I'm really surprised that we only got one after all this. Um, let's, uh, let's just switch or maybe, um, let's uncheck this one. And see what they have. Intel. I filed. Let's look at the AMD. Like I said, AMD is expensive now. If you want to get the same specs with AMD Ryzen 5. Um, it's a thousand dollar now, so it's it's a problem. Let's go back desktop search again And let's get I'm just gonna scroll into these computers like I said all in one desktop forget it Don't even spend the money on it. Uh, it's worthless. This is just like for home um, At home to use it once in a while and you're gonna throw it in the garbage in the end So let's look at the Dell right here 749 uh, this Dell has an AI7, which is really good. It has 12 gigabyte. This is a really computer, by the way. It has 512 uh, SSD. Remember, we'll start with uh, with the processor. It's right there, Intel Core i7. That's really good. That's excellent, actually. Uh, RAMs, we don't care about the video card, remember, because it's for business. Uh, RAMs, let's go back to RAMs. I skip RAMs. Anyway, RAMs, which is the memory, how much, what, what RAMs? The, I think people, most people confuse RAMs versus the, the hard drive where the memory storage, storage and RAMs are different. RAMs is with basically with, like when, when you're, like right now I'm running this. So the RAMs, uh, it's the amount of memory, how many, how many apps I can run at the same time versus storage is where we save this stuff uh, so when i'm running like on a browser i'm not really saving anything i'm using rams uh, to view this or i'm saving just a little bit so yeah so this computer is really good intel core i7 12 gigabyte of memory that's the rams 512 storage ssd make sure the ssd there ethernet wi-fi and all that they're cool i get it and it comes with a keyboard and a mouse and you still need a monitor this has 249 this is one of the best values that they have actually i just recommend it to one of my customers um uh, let's look at this one uh, underneath it amd is this one actually has one terabyte SS ssd amd raisin 5 uh, actually this computer is faster than this computer but is it gonna be reliable i really cannot answer it's still a gamble right now uh, as what I've seen from AMD in my experience and I'm talking about my experience I've seen it work where my customers who have Intel don't have any problems and who have AMD it's, it's super fast super fast like I said and all of a sudden I think something dies inside uh, the processor it becomes super slow and they end up getting a new computer so but again that was AMD previous before raising 5 and 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 the new one nine so we don't know if this if this uh is still the case and so when you're buying this one you're going to be really happy with it because it's really fast only one problem is it going to be reliable for business um it's a gamble so if you want the safe side you need intel uh, i7 or i5 um they really don't have much option. Let's look at this one, i5. This is i5, 12, 12 gigabit. This is the disaster right there. So let's look at this computer, 649. And I bet you, look how many people bought this computer not knowing what's the problem with this computer. Why people bought this computer versus uh, this computer right here? For one reason, they can save $100. But look at the disaster they end up with. This computer comes with the 256 gigabyte SSD. I told you, Windows requires 200. With the updates, literally in no time, you're gonna be over 200 gigabyte. Now you only have 50, 50 gigabyte to play with. 
literally that's 10 20 pictures and five videos you're all set now you need it you need a new computer basically or you need to upgrade to a new hard drive now you need to, to people tell you oh go get another hard drive and put it as an as a secondary you cannot use a second secondary hard drive to run the apps it's going to be a disaster don't fall into that trap that's a trap right there 256 ssd I mean, there's a way around it, but for the average person, he's not going to figure out how to copy and, 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 and paste the, the whole hard drive, uh, clone the hard, the hard drive from one hard disk to another hard disk. It's not going to SSD to another SSD. It's not possible. Let's keep looking. After that, it's going to go get really expensive. Let's look at this one. AMD Ryzen 5. 56 which is just like that but the only difference the only reason this is expensive because it has an nvidia video card don't care for that you don't need uh, a video card an external video card for for our business no need for that same thing so anything over a thousand dollar you're only paying that just because of the video card so you your your budget i mean the best value that i see that i can trust is the dell right here for 749 i'm only going to get anything less than 600 it's going to be hard um like this one 649 i would not buy because it only has 256 ssd um the raisin right here like I said, as long as it's AMD fixed the problem, uh, this could be better than this. But as of right now, we really don't know if this one is better than this in terms of one thing. Is it going to last? I don't know. We'll see. I hope so because I'm a big fan of AMD. I hope, I hope it's going to last, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see the reviews. Um, let's talk about the monitor. So this is just... Uh, this is just a computer, like I said, that we're, we're giving you the minimum requirements to, uh, for not just for VIP, for a business. If you're opening a business and you want, you want, you're you're thinking, should I get a desktop? Should I get a, get a laptop? Should I get an all-in-one? We said stay away from all-in-one, 100%. Uh, the, the second, unless you have to stay away from laptops, and the third one, get a desktop, a tower because you're in control you can replace the monitor if the monitor gets bigger we can replace it you can replace if it go if it fails the power supply fails we can replace it you can do it yourself you don't need anybody you don't need to take it to anybody take it apart watch a video on youtube how to replace the power supply plug it in you're in so you are in control because that's it's flexible when you buy a tower versus all in one with the touch people like people get we all get uh i think that happened to me too because we're thinking um we have a mouse and a keyboard you know what sometimes it's nice to uh, click on add with your finger no it's not nice what's nice is to use the mouse it's nice when you're you when you're using your phone that's different because you don't have a place for a mouse and a keyboard so we used our finger but when you are at work you need a mouse, a nice mouse, and a keyboard. I'm going to talk about those two, give you an idea which mouse and which keyboard uh, you should buy. But the second thing I want to talk about is the monitor. Since we bought that, we picked our hard drive. Let's pick our monitor. And the monitor right here, we need, obviously, you don't need no 4K, 8K, all the. This is for business. Again, we need full HD right there. Full HD. And... Um, and let's look at the monitor don't buy anything like this wide what are you doing this is for business you buy the stuff for your house just to show off so this monitor we're looking for 1920 by 1080 so keep that in mind 1920 by 1080 not by 1200 by 1080 so 1920 by 1080 is the most, it's the standard monitor nowadays why what's cool about it you can pick something really cheap and you still get full HD resolution. So you would look at LG 149, it's a good choice. 139, Samsung 139, 119, Acer, Acer 249. And they're, they're a little bit expensive on the monitor, 110. This one is really good, but it's 249. This one is my recommendation for a monitor after going through all of them 27 inch 
stick with the 27 inch 27 inch if you want to 27 inch you can get it under 200 dollars right there acer 27 inch everything looks perfect in front of you to be able to work daily you're sitting in front of this computer all day long some of them are going to be sold out so you gotta look so i recommend 27 inch 1920 by 1080 and you can pick the brand i'm not going to tell you which brand like this one 27 and this is really good price right there 27 inch 139 dollar uh, it's a dell i mean it's not going to be it's not a computer it's not a video uh let's say it's not a gaming uh, this is not a gaming uh, uh monitor this is just for your uh for work that's it for business period so 27 inch so let's let's recap about the monitor uh 27 inch is the best you don't have to have 27 inch if you don't have the room for it then go 24 22 not less than 20 and uh 1920 by 1080 the resolution is really important don't go 4k uh, i mean you can you can open vip it's going to be look smaller uh but 20, 1920 by 1080 4k are really expensive right now anyway uh, 1920 by 1080 uh 27 inches the best i'm just giving you my best recommendation so uh, let's talk about uh, laptops while i'm here laptops let's look at laptop laptop especially laptop minimum resolution is 1920 by 1080 Let's see what they have anyway, because I, I haven't shopped for laptop in a long, long time. Uh, again, laptop, the only reason I don't like laptops for work because if they break, literally it's hard to fix them and most likely you're gonna need a new one. Um, video cards, we don't care. Let's see, let's see if we can uh, pick an i5, an i7, and Ryzen 5 and i'm not gonna pick i9 because probably it's gonna be well you know what let's do it anyway and that's uh rams we said see uh, on the laptop is the, the minimum is eight uh, let's pick 12 16 32 um when you buy a laptop minimum 15 inch don't buy this 12 to 14 inch what are you seeing on the airplane where where you need the, to be small uh, those 12 inch to 14 inch are literally, are little bit literally worthless because the screen is too small. You're not going to be productive. You need minimum 15 inch, uh, 17 inch, and touch screen. I really don't care about that. I mean, you. I'm sure you do, but it's not a big deal. Don't don't fall into these traps. So let's look at the prices. Um. So thirteen hundred, they're expensive anyway. Price low to high. Let's see what's the cheap. So seven ninety nine, thirteen inch. It's worthless because it's thirteen inch. That's too small. I thought we said fifteen inch and up. Well, I guess they still want to show it to me. All right, this is refurbished. For I mean, they're expensive anyway. Stay away from laptops for business, man. Unless you get, you need it on the go. Look at it, they're expensive. Fifteen point six eight hundred and twenty dollars. I mean this is good. Uh Intel Core I I five, what is it, Dell? They're expensive. Desktop is your best way. I'm glad I looked at this. Eight hundred and ninety nine. Wow. Wow. Literally. Don't even uh <laughs> I was going to give you some advice on laptop, but after I saw the prices, my advice, if you are if you have a shop that you're, you're, you're not, I mean, unless you're a mobile shop, then yeah, go on and pick one. Uh, make sure the specs that I said about, told, told you about. If you have a shop, you have an office, run, run for your life. Why are you here anyway? Run. Laptop. Don't think that you're trying to that your laptop is gonna fix your problems. And some people buy laptops and not computer savvy, and they think laptop, it's gonna make their life easier. No, you need a, a desktop, and a mouse and a keyboard will make your life easier. I don't care how good you are. Put me in front of laptop, I'll be stuck because the keyboard is is cold next to each other. 
you gotta use your finger as the pad even if it's touch screen horrible run for your life you need a desktop desktop not all in one desktop just a desktop um that's it okay let's talk about keyboard what's the well it's gonna come with a keyboard and mouse but if you want the best let me show you you might have to spend another couple hundred bucks the best keyboard right now in the market after I did my homework. Not Microsoft, none of these. It's called M Keys. Not, not, even those are horrible. I, I bought that one. It's horrible. Um, what is it called? Logi. Yep, so this is this $99 keyboard is the best keyboard ever existed in uh, uh, in the uh, in the age of keyboards. It's a hundred dollars, it's wireless, um, it's wireless, really wireless, there's no lagging, it has its own batteries, it requires charging now. So I don't know why it requires charging, but when you charge it, it kind of lasts for a couple of weeks. But every that's this is the one I have right here. Every once in a while, you gonna you need to plug it in, and it has a USB-C, and but it's the best keyboard I ever had. And what I mean by ever, especially if you're the guy who's not good at typing, you need something easy to type, and it has like the semi-low profile, and uh, you when you click when you click on something, you feel it. It has the LED light too. And as as bad as the keyboard is, as I mean, as as important as the keyboard is, the most important thing is the mouse. Uh, let's talk about the mouse. Logi mouse wireless. Okay, so people that prefer this one, I'm not a big fan of the whole setup of it. Uh, I mean the wheel is good the mouse the most important thing about the mouse is the wheel I didn't know that somebody told me about that long time ago I didn't believe him now I do he was right um, I was like man to me we're all all they're all the same now they're not all the same um, so yeah most people buy this one I don't recommend this one I do recommend this one I guess what you can you get to save twenty dollars because this one is ninety nine dollars because of the wheel is really good the way it scrolls is perfectly but this one is the best i have the white one because i couldn't find the black one that was sold out but i mean you can have the pink one too it doesn't matter but the the black one uh the wheel is perfect it's really precise and that's uh the wheel is precise and uh, when it moves it's really precise and uh, this is the best uh, keyboard and mouse ever the last tip that I want to give is um, the when you buy a wireless keyboard or mouse don't try to connect them via Bluetooth just because your laptop has Bluetooth run away from this it's not gonna be as accurate as accurate as as precise as when you connect it with this tiny USB the micro USB that comes with it um, the other second tip that I, I I didn't know about it too when you connect the USB that you know the, the mouse and in this uh, have a USB when you connect the USB don't put it in the back of the computer because that's it's gonna be lagging uh, just because it's connected and it's working that doesn't mean it's really have a great connection uh, you need if the desktop is right there in front of you, then that's fine. Put it on the front. The, the, usually, the desktop has front uh, USB. Put it on the front. Uh, the 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 mouse and the, and the keyboard they need to be as close as possible to the USB. Um, if that's not possible, if you have a cabinet, then you need to run a wire somehow. That's what I did. I literally in this case because it's not possible for me to you put the USB the the computer is inside the, the office the, the desk so I ran a wire to put the USB in so the USB is always facing uh, the mouse and always facing uh, the keyboard by doing so 
um, you'll always have a great connection. You'll never have a lag. And there's nothing more frustrating when you're busy and this mouse is not moving. And I, since I bought those two, I never ever had that problem. Anyway, I hope this video will help a lot of people, especially in this era. Uh, I gave you my advice. And then make your own decision. Uh, don't, be a don't be a follower. Be a student. So think about it. Use your brain. Make your own decision. I'm not here trying to make any money off this. I'm just trying to educate you from my experience where I've dealt you. I built computers. I still do build computer. You, you save the only difference between building computer and buying your own computer. Um, you get to choose. Uh, like you know, they kind of force you when you go buy it. Okay, we're gonna take this away. We'll sell you this. Yeah, but when you build it, you you get whatever you want all at once because to get what I want, it costs three thousand dollar. Or if I build it, it will still cost me over a thousand dollars, but thousand versus three thousand, it's a huge deal. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Until next time, thanks for watching.